Hi, it's Sarah. I did a look today that was inspired by the Snapchat, like, butterfly crown filter. Um, if you would like to see how I got this look, then just stay tuned. I use a lot of good products today. First, I use the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, and I put that on the center of my face because that's where I have larger pores and a lot of texture. Then I went in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I like this one because it's light coverage, but it's very buildable, and it still keeps me looking natural. I don't really like a full coverage because with the texture of my skin I feel as though I can look cakey very fast. I'm going in with my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in medium 52. I'm just applying that to the bridge of my nose, under my eyes, on my forehead, on my upper lip, and on my chin. And then I'll just blend that out with a small beauty sponge. The beauty sponge is damp and I'm just blending this out. I feel it looks the best when blended out with a sponge, so that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. HD powder. I'm just going to take that same beauty blender, use the other side, and then just dab that under my eyes and anywhere else that I put the concealer just to hold it in place so it doesn't budge. This is my brow gal eyebrow gel. I got this in a Ipsy bag a few months ago. My Maybelline Master Prime eye primer. I'm just gonna prime my eyes to prepare for the eyeshadow coming next. This is the Manny MUA and Makeup Geek palette. I'm taking the color Beaches and Cream with a F or E40 brush by Sigma. I'm just going to blend that in. And next I'm going to take Sora from the same palette as my second transition shade just to add some warmth with the same E40 brush by Sigma. Next I'm taking Frappe with a Real Techniques eye contour brush, I think. I'll link everything down below. Then next I'm taking Cosmopolitan. This is my favorite. I'm going to take my NYX spray and I'm going to spray it on my E55 brush and then I'm just going to dab that and apply it. This really makes the glitter very pigmented applied to the eye and really makes it stand out. Just taking that first E40 tapered blending brush by Sigma and just making sure that there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to take that shade Sora again and put it on my lower lash line just so it doesn't look so naked. And then this is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I use the shade Medium Deep, just warming up my face. Uh, I got this in an Ipsy bag too. I love the contour and I actually love the blush in this. It's uh, Jelly Pong Pong. It's in the shade Aruba. You can find this on their website. And I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush to apply this contour. And for the blush, I used some brush set that I got from Forever 21 a few years ago. My Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. And also, I'm just using an angled brush that I got from the Forever 21 brush set a few years ago. No, gotta dance. Always. These are Mandy Lashes in the sh Natural Beauty. They kind of remind me of Demi Wispies. Oh, okay. Alright. I was waiting for the glue to dry. Uh, <laughs> and 
Not the best at putting on lashes, but I think it turned out all right. Okay, now for the good stuff. This is my Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow, and I'm using the shade Bubbly. Whoa, look at that. I, I love highlights. <laughs> this is my favorite shade out of the whole palette. Um, yeah, see? Ooh, girl, ooh. I apply it to the bridge of my nose, the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, right above my eyebrows and on my chin. Those are my favorite places to highlight. Ooh, look at it glow. Glow it. Glow, 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 glow. Now I'm going to mesh my lashes together with the falsies. I'm going to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is in uh, black, very black. Got to get my lower lash line. And then this is the Kate Rimmel. This is the Kate Nudes in the shade 42. This is kind of what makes me find my Kim Kardashian lipstick combo. As you can tell, I really like it. This is my new favorite so far. And then I like to mix it with the Kylie Gloss in the shade Like. I just love this combo. I just think it really suits me very well. And it's, I'm not much into glosses, but this is my absolute favorite gloss that she has come out with.